Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making a plexiglass base for my router. I started out by marking a rough size for the width that I wanted, which I based off the width of the current router base. I then cut it, scored it with a razor blade and uh, tried trying to take deep passes and make sure I got all the way through. It didn't really work out perfectly though and I had a little bit of trouble. Um, here I'm taking off the base for the current router that I have in the current base and um, I'm doing this so I can mark out the location for the holes for the screws to go. And here I'm drilling the holes. Quick tip, if you run the drill in reverse it will not damage the plexiglass or crack it at all. And the thickness was a little bit too thin so I cut out another piece and this time I had a little bit more success with the cutting you just have to score it a lot of times with the razor blade I believe there is a special tool to do it but I didn't have it so I just did the best with what I had and after doing this I um, clamped the two pieces together and I really wanted to make sure that these holes lined up perfectly also had a countersink there because the screwdriver bits have a countersink, countersunk head and they need to go below so they're not rubbing on the wood. Here I'm peeling off the protective layer and this is one of the most satisfying things in the world. It's kind of like peeling off the protective screen on your phone when you first get it brand new. It's just amazing. I would love to buy plexiglass just to peel off the protective coating. But it's super clear too which is which is nice. And after this, I uh, screwed on the base pieces just to make sure that they would line up and also to make sure that they lined up while I was um, sanding them down and making sure they were at the right size. I just used the belt sander here. And a quick note, if you're using a belt sander to sand plexiglass, it smells awful. I don't know why, but it just does. Here I'm trying to score out a little square to uh, for the bit to go through and this is one of the reasons I'm replacing this like making a new one of this piece because the other one was slightly small so I would struggle with the bigger bits and uh, trying to knock it out with a hammer didn't go so well uh, I was very frustrated after that but I made a new piece and uh, just screwing that in too I decided that I'm never going to work with plexiglass again because it is uh, awful and I hate it and it shatters and I would like to kill it but this worked out okay I guess and here I decided to get the hole perfectly centered I would just put a bit in the router um, turn it on and then lower the base piece onto it which actually worked pretty well although it was a tiny bit scary and I'm just going up in bit sizes here. Um, I ran out of straight bits pretty quickly because this is just kind of a starter set. So I had to use a really big chamfer bit, which was fine. Worked well too. It was terrifying though, but you know, that's, that's okay. It was kind of nice though because you could just let go of the piece and it would just drop onto the cutter at a nice pace and speed and you wouldn't have to worry about it cracking. But again, it smelled awful, so if you're ever doing this, just take note that it will smell awful. Um, peeling off the protective loading again, coating again, which was awesome. This piece was a little bit dirty, but my workbench was incredibly messy after this. So I just decided to clean the whole entire thing. Sorry if this makes you wish that your workbench was as clean as mine. And uh, here's a finishing shot. Thank you all for watching.